Yes, we're back. Rosh Vuko watches and things. Let's keep on going. It's not just a birthday of the channel. We're going to do a birth week of the channel. Uh, and we're going to look back at my second ever watch review back on the 20th of April 2019. This is the Helm Kuraburi Reloaded. So here we are with the Helm Kuraburi. Again, as I mentioned, my second ever watch review. Don't worry, I'm not going to go through and re-review -re all of the watches that I did last year. But I thought just for fun, and seeing as this one is um, in my possession at present, it might be quite nice to look at it again. Of course, this is uh, from the micro brand Helm, which is, a, uh, I think, an American guy who has since relocated to Hong Kong or southern China, so he can um, be ahead of the game with everything watch brands. It's a fantastic 300 meter dive watch. Uh, Helm are, I guess their foundations for the company, they're spelling out as testing for their watches. So all of Helm's watches are ISO 6425 tested uh, and all of the specifications that run alongside that. Uh, so on the one hand testing, on the other hand value, this is a $300 watch. I think when I bought it last year, it's $300 for the watch. I spent another $20 on a, on a canvas strap from Helm and $30 ship, shipping, so $350 all in. Uh, they do, or they are released in limited runs. So if you're interested in this or the Vanuatu or the Komodo, the two other lines from Helm, uh, get to the website and sign up for email alerts because they're pretty limited runs. So just quickly, uh, this is about 43 mil across, 49 Overall length lug to lug. It's pretty thick, about 15 and a half. I think Helm stating 16 on their website. I get about 15 and a half to the top of that. The crystal there. Uh, 22 mil lug. Screw down crown, obviously, at 10 o'clock this time. No ghost position because inside here we've got an NH. 38 movements so and there's no date there fantastic action on the crown it is up at 10 o'clock so the lack of crown guards is not going to be an issue if you wear it on your left wrist especially sapphire glass domed beautiful sapphire bezel insert loomed um, in fact since you're talking about loom Yeah, the loom will blow your socks off every time. This is a no nonsense, no frills, over engineered, oversized, brushed finish, professional diving instrument, as it's labelled on the website. It is um, that most overused of phrases, a tool watch. It certainly is big and chunky and heavy. Uh, when it's on the, on the bracelet, which we'll have a look at in a second, it does hit the scales at over 200 grams. So it certainly is um, a big, oversized, over-engineered watch just for a bit of... Comparison 
there it is next to a SKX 007, so the full size one. And just because I've got it lying next to me as well, this is my 38mm Man Hudson. So 43, but it's not a massive 43. Here's that aforementioned bracelet, built like a tank. Big, thick, old screw links there, solid end links, obviously. No push buttons, but fully milled out. Heavy duty clasp with a three position dive extension as well. It's fantastically well made, but it is heavy. I also have the, the OEM Helm canvas. When you buy a watch, these are only $20. I think without maybe $25 or $30, and they are worth it, absolutely worth it. A uh, bit of discreet branding on the underside of that kind of Panerai style buckle. These are brilliant quality. I've been wearing it on this uh, band for the last six months probably. Um, it's getting pretty hot where I am at the moment, so I have changed it out. In fact, I've changed it out for a, um, a watch gecko, Zulu diver. I'm not sure they do these anymore. I was just looking on the website. I just bought a few things from a, a few straps from Watch Gecko just this evening, actually. Um, shout out to Watch Gecko, and hopefully the boys are going to make it through these uh, tough economic times. Uh, this was what was called a French elastic NATO uh, in green, 22 mil. Uh, I think it's great. And I think, I was looking back at my orders, I think these were six pounds each. I got a few of them. Incredible value. And there it is on my seven inch wrist. I mean, she's pretty tall, fairly heavy, but chunky and just really, you know, sometimes you need to wear a big watch. It's a beast. I'm sure you could take it into pretty much every situation. It's going to come out better than you will. Um, nice on this strap because obviously these straps are um, they're good in hot weather. They're very comfortable. They're very light, and it kind of counterbalances that. Yeah, you know, a little bit heavy, but if you've got it strapped up right, they wear an absolute treat. So I remember in my original video, back in the uh, back in the early days of Rochefoucauld Co. There were no negatives. I gave this one no negatives. I was so pumped, so buzzing that it just arrived because I've been after one for months. And there are absolutely no negatives in my initial video. And what am I saying now, 12 months on? Well, this is a fantastically well-made bracelet. It's a beast, but that clasp is also a beast in comparison oh. look at the size differential between that kind of small pressed man clasp and this one here I mean it's it's crazy it's 48 mil clasp to clasp uh, so that's one thing to be aware of the second thing is certainly the availability. Um, if you want to buy a Helm watch, uh, well, you can't go to their website. Everything's sold out. Everything's always sold out. They do do small batches. So like I say, if you want one, sign up at the website for email alerts. They'll give you an email and say, look, whenever, two weeks Monday, we're going to do a batch of however many, 50 or 100. Give you a time and you need to be there and you need to get it uh, within minutes. They did, a, they did a run of these Kuraburis, I think, about three weeks ago. And um, it was in the middle of the night for me here. And by the time the morning, so maybe five, six hours, 
since they went live, they were all gone. Um, yes, small batches does give you the opportunity to kind of tinker and, and modify and tweak everything, which is, which is a positive, which is good. I'm glad the brand are looking at, at, at improving the product, but it is a bit of a drag for the consumer. So the Helm Kuraburi reloaded 12 months on. And I'm going to say it again, it is still the best $300 diver that money can buy if you can get hold of them. It's my favourite. I wear it all the time. Uh, it's got to be in my top two or three favourite watches in my collection. Roshu Co watches and things. Helm Kuraburi. Isolation special. Birthday special. We're out.